not too many players get to play New Game Plus in StarCraft 2. Most players are committed to Zerg or Terran or Protoss. But some players just get bored with winning. They get tired of it. So they got to try a different flavor. Yes, your eyes do not deceive you. In this ESL SC2 Cup pro match of StarCraft 2, the newest Zerg player to try their hand uh, at something different. I give you Dragon Phoenix Gaming's Dark. He has prestiged the Zerg. He's kind of used every unit to win a professional match or series. And now he's moved on. Uh, he's up against Rika, a.k.a. Silky, who's a Chinese Zerg player. Um, no, not the top, most top-tier opponent, but he's won 15k in SC2. He's high grandmaster. So yeah, th this is Dark's trend of essentially disrespecting people he thinks he's better than. And now the problem with that is he's right. Um, historically, he's been the gatekeeper in GSL. Like, like, I remember, I believe it was Special, who came into GSL, like, with, with months of practice, finally a forum player, and then Dark just Roach Rush 2-0'd him, like, <laughs> uh, because Dark, uh, doesn't have to, he's, he's much like Zest, except, uh, many times more reliable. Uh, the final boss just doesn't seem to care, so now we're gonna see. Now, uh, a lot of players uh, off-race all the time. It, Rainer the most conspicuous lately. We've seen Serral play as Terran and Protoss before, though not as um, high profile and not as often. And also, Serral doesn't play in many of these like uh, weekly cups as, as much. But here we go. This is actually the round of eight, so we're pretty deep into the Korean weekly cup. So not a pushover at all to get this far. So the expectation... Any... If, for example, Maru's Protoss is sometimes number one on the Korean ladder. So, uh, just because you focus most of your time... And Zerg is, is the most unique of the races. Like, the mechanics you need to play Zerg are very different than how Terran and Protoss builds work. Um, well... Not impressed so far by the Adept just well. Rika had a surround there. And, and he kind of let it go. The Adept shades in. It spotted a Roach one. Dark is setting up uh, a Roach attack defense. Yeah, if anyone knows how to defend a Roach timing, uh, it's this man over here. But I actually love the choice to cancel the Roach one and spam drones. This is a perfect... Oh my god. Dark is freaking out. He's freaking out. He's got three batteries on the way. He's chrono boosting warp gate. He does have a dark shrine, which is kind of a win condition against a roach timing. If you can get to the dark shrine, especially if they're just all in on hatch tech, then you kind of kill everything. But I wonder if Dark, is he getting suspicious yet? Is he going to let the batteries finish? He's got Adept Glaives on the way now. The batteries will finish. He gets... Wow. So, our first impression of Dark is freaking out at a potential Zerg all-in. Mm. Uh, well, we're going to have to give uh, Rika some credit on this one. As he has successfully bamboozled Dark. And, and I would argue that Dark is a little behind now. Several hundred minerals on shield batteries. Uh, he's committed to a Dark Shrine that just got scouted, as well as uh, he, he warps in a sentry, which eats into the gas early, though I don't think that's going to be too huge an issue. And the Adept Glaives are late for any sort of early time. So, so, so far, uh, Dark getting bamboozled. Rick, on the other hand, well, the same kind of style, the same sort of situation is happening with the DTs. You see the Dark Shrine, you have to respond to it. You have to respect it. Because it, it, you just lose the game. If you don't have detect, you just lose. Like, the DTs do critical game-ending damage. It, it, there is no counter to the DTs if you don't have the spores and such. So, 
You do have to eat into your own economy just to deal with the Dark Templar. This DT just chilling, waiting. Dark takes his third. He's got a few adepts ready to shade in, setting up a multi pronged attack here. And Adept's Shading Pass. He's going to spot the Spore Crawler, which may set him up to bring the Dark Templar in simultaneously. He does to the third. Things are going to get a little messy, though, as Dark is not jammed in behind the pylon here. The Adepts are going to get caught. The Dark Templar not finding much. Overall, Rika handling this well. DT in the main, but there is a Lair done and Overseer morphing. And Dark has lost a lot of his Adepts, and the DTs are not finding much damage. So even though the worker counts are about even, you gotta look at the tech. Right now, Roach Warren with Roach Speed on the way, plus one ranged attack for Zerg, about to complete. Um, Dark... <laughs> Is this on pur- He's gonna play it like it's on purpose. He hallucinated a Phoenix, and there's also this Colossus here. <laughs> I feel like, well, yeah, that it, that he's, nope, he just misclicked the Colossus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, totally, 100%. I mean, he totally meant it. Shade some Adepts in. The other is going towards the natural. Those might find some real damage here. Two Adepts can do terrible, terrible damage. Uh, the stutter step looking good. Six drowns so far. Seven. And and that means Rick in a, a bit of an awkward spot. Definitely not deflecting this as well as he could. Roach speed is done. And Dark has 66 drones behind. He's getting double robo. I... <laughs> He, he is not one to uh, skimp on the pylons either. He is supply blocked, but I... Fourth hatchery finishes. Couple cannons on the way. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, like, there's nothing wrong with this. It's just, it's so, so clearly different than your average photo. <laughs> Oh, I, I'm supply box, so I just slap some pylons down. You can't move those afterwards, Dark. Just, there's 12 swarm hosts on the way. Ooh, one of the units that only Dark uses. Well, not anymore, apparently. And against this relatively light splash damage, uh, Blink Stalker army, swarm hosts a strong choice here. Stalkers are not going to deal with it easily. The, the best... Uh, answer to it is just Colossi and or Archons, just overwhelming splash damage, or of course Sky Toss. But with the Swarm Host already out, Dark is stuck with Blink Stalkers and some Sentries. Only a single Archon on the field. A few Adepts, bit of a lazy Roach. Uh, he brings all the Roaches back. Oh God, uh, bit of a overreaction there. But the Swarm Host will begin their assault. Dark sees it. He's just going straight for the Nexus. He's got to pat it on the back with the shield battery overcharge. He does. Does he know the hotkey? He does. Rika kind of wastes that first wave. The force fields from Dark, pretty good. If he had gotten the Nexus, of course, that would have been great. But uh, the the shield battery eventually reshields the Nexus. Dark shoots his own Stalker just to... He shoots one out of ten of his stalkers, so the other nine feel very motivated. Classic Protoss tactic. The Swarm Host almost recharged, but you don't really want to be on defense with these. They are qu quite unwieldy defensively. Uh, the creep spread is at his front doorstep right now. The Dark does bring back some observers. Swarm Host, how much is he going to pop? The roaches are just buffering at the moment. The Swarm Host still holding out of those Locusts. And, oh, Disruptors show up to the party. Already a few Locusts gonna drop. Force Fields don't really work very well. Yeah, he's, he goes for the Locust with the Force Fields. I mean, with the Disruptor shots. Which is certainly something. Uh, the Swarm Hosts are recharging. The Shield Battery Overcharge should be off cooldown, but Dark doesn't need it. 
as the Blink Stalkers are now chasing down the Swarmos. They're gonna get one. The road track to the Duracauta. Quite a back and forth here. More disruptors show up. He does it. Oh, wow. Oh, he gets both. The target fires good just in time. Rika holding the line. Dark is falling apart here. He only has stalkers. The swarm hosts are recharged, and it's just blink stalkers. As well, the Roach Ravager count is thinning out. Even with shield battery overcharged, though, the added damage of the locust. Dark is blinking back, but he's running out of eye. Oh, but the DTs are warped then. The DTs will save the day as there's no detection. But at the same time, the Nexus dies. The Nexus dies. And that is the most... Dark is out 100 supply. Dark is... Whoa! Not as easy as it looks, is it, Dark? Mmm. Mmm, not going so well. Just saying. DT is wandering past. Much of the su supply is in Swarm Host. Oh, whoa. gets a single roach here. But this locust wave is gonna be pretty devastating. Right? Yes? It'll get there in time to do something, right? Well, the Roach Ravager is on the base already, so... Ah. Oh, uh, well, this is... Yeah, this is very bad. For the Korean turncoat. I can't believe those probes were allowed to escape. Rika... I, well, he's dealing with DTs. Dark managed to get nine drones and get out with Dark Templar somehow. So, oh, Rika came all the way back. Oh. Well, Dark's on two bases. He's still alive and he still has enough probes to, well, he doesn't have enough money to rebuild next time. I feel like Rika's stressing out like, oh my God, I'm gonna be Dark. Like, I'm gonna be Dark. All he's gotta do is lay it down. You don't wanna let him live. Oh my god, the locust wave, where are you going? He doesn't have any basis. I mean, at the same time, he's like, it'll be so embarrassing if I lose to Dark playing Protoss. Hive is on the way. The locust... Dark sees where the swarm hosts are, not that he can move out. They're colossi now. The anti-swarm host army is coming together. I, d I don't... Just get in there! What are you waiting for? Another locust wave. Dark's still sitting on two base. He's running out of minerals. There's four colossi now. A spire might find some real value. Look at the money in the bank. Just drops down. He's gonna fight. Um, shield battery overcharge. Ooh. Um... Well, that did nothing. Dark has resigned himself to chill it on two base. He finds a spot for a pylon or for a nexus here. The swarm hosts are in position to counterattack essentially, but they're a little early. They're jumping the gun on this one. Uh, he loses one or two of them. Before the fight really starts. Not that he really wants Swarm Host anymore. He's building Vipers. Okay. Well. <laughs> Dark has not tapped out yet. So we're still going. Hydralis Den. Is certainly one of the choices you can make. Against someone who has Mass Disruptor Colossus. The Viper is definitely a real option here. Uh, Rika may have forgotten, like, he may have forgotten about Spire Tech. Um, a Lurker Den, yeah, but still. <laughs> Already preempting the Swarm Host. He can technically blink over to Chase here if he'd like. Dark may be able to chase down the swarm host. Oh, the disruptor's point blank! Ooh, the roach is having a tough time with that. The swarm host. Dark knows he can blink. He's been blunked on before. Oh, no! The swarm host. 
I mean, you don't want to just lose them, but at the same time, they definitely haven't been getting much done. Oh, wow. Well, this is pretty satisfying for Protoss out there. He just, he just lets them go. Okay. He remaxes immediately because I, he's been banking for a while. Dark still not dead. Like, this is a dangerous... I'm getting a little concerned here. Because Rika had a hundred supply lead. And now Dark is... This is a dangerous army. He's got Templar. He's got Ruptors. It's only plus two, plus one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, 19 Lurkers! 19! They don't have high tech upgrades! Oh my god, what are you doing? Oh, well, this is, uh, certainly... 19 Lurkers is a lot of Lurkers, but... Dark has seven disruptors, so but the the vipers can pull the disruptors even while they're firing, and it interrupts the nova. Or of course before the templar are here to deal with the vipers specifically. Dark knows what the biggest threat is. He's seen the vi oh my god the queens. There he fires a shot across. Rika spent his entire bank on these lurkers. So he's... Uh, he's really... He's putting all his eggs in the lurker basket. And we'll see if they remain uncracked. Dark has survived. Way too long here. Adaptive Talon's on the way. It's gonna come down to the fight. That's so many lurkers. Oh, shots fired. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's a disaster. Every Viper feedbacked half a dozen lurkers down. <laughs> like, come on. Dark, it doesn't matter if he's playing Zerg, Protoss, Terran, or, uh, I don't know, Harpsichord. Because no matter what, he just said, he, he asserts his willpower onto the game. Like, how does this happen? Rika, I'm sure he's won games from that position before. But Dark just, like, who sits on two base? Everybody tries to, no, Dark sat there for five minutes on two base, building disruptors. Refusing to move out. And now it's... It, not just anybody's game. I'd put Dark as favorite. Oh my god. That's still... Like, that's still a lot of lurkers. It... Oh no. Well, he blunks in. That might... He might regret that. Like, Colossi still sunk. But there's no energy on these Vipers. In fact, some of them are almost dead. And now it's some... Are they... Those are... Okay, they are charge lots. Yeah, you can see them by the way they are. Uh Oh my. Oh my. Oh no. The lurkers were a questionable choice. Honestly, in a game like this, Ultras even. Or Mutas or Broodlords. Pretty much anything that wasn't already being countered by the units he was building to counter Swarmhost, but out of the large bag of options, he pulls out the lurkers, and, and Dark seems to have thanked him for it. Oh my. Well, that was certainly not where he wanted to walk. The entire broad... Well, when Dark says, I can play Pro... It doesn't matter how bad. I, I can beat you with Protoss. I, he didn't say that. It was implied. By the way he carries himself. I think there was a bit of the, the choke point, if you would. I don't mean on the map. 
I mean mentally. As Rika, you saw him sending his locust towards bases that didn't exist. Uh, he was just like, well, you're supposed to expand. Why aren't you expanding? You're doing it wrong. And Dark said, I don't care. And to repeat, Rika is not, he, this isn't some random diamond player. He is, he's won 15k on SC2. He's a professional, just, he's got, this is the round of eight? Like, <laughs> but it's dark. Oh God, the lurkers were not the choice. They were, they were not. Of all the things, like he could have just kept building swarm hosts even, I think. Lurkers are not nearly as good as your average Platinum Protoss makes them out to be. Oh. Oh, did... <laughs> Rick didn't even realize. Ah, uh, apparently. Wait, did we go in the wrong order? But this match... Oh, this may have been game one. Oh. Okay. Wow. I, well, either way. Or he's complaining about Protoss. In general. In commiserating with his certain counterpart. I don't know. <sighs> well. Dark unleashing. Yeah, like, his micro was not... He built the right army. He built the army that he knows Zerg players hate. That's what he did. Um, and I think he also prayed that Mutas wouldn't show up. That was most of it. <laughs> he built all the units that you can throw the game into. And, uh... Rico obliged. Is he just doing a Zergling all in? Where are you going with those? Oh my god. What are you doing? He's doing the drone drill all in. He's gonna. This is the weirdest and most confusing possible. Oh no, the Adept is going to see the Zerglings. He's just like, but you can't drone drill through a hard wall. Um. Well, it depends on this probe. He can recall the Adepts. He does. So this isn't gonna work. He recalled... Oh, I guess he didn't have energy, but... He's trying to drill through. But once the shield battery comes up, another Adept is about to pop out. No. No. He can overcharge in a moment. I mean, kind of a amazing all-in, but... The shield battery should be able to reshield the cyber core. It ain't happening. It ain't it. What a disaster. Well, Dark Holds. Wow. Well, GGD. Okay. Well, this was one of the most series I have ever cast. I'm not particularly impressed by Dark's Protoss. It is perfectly acceptable. Uh, it was effective, but I do think in every way except literally he lost that game on Inside and Out. That was a solid defense there. That was good, but Rika, that was a throw. That, that is what a throw... For those wondering what a throw actually looks like, the losing all your swarm hosts doing nothing into lurkers against the most anti-lurker army possible... That's what a throw is. So, I hope Dark has 
what it takes to show us. You know what? I feel like Dark would be one of the people to admit, like, no, I can't, I can't beat Beyun as Protoss. Don't be ridiculous. I'll just beat him. Uh, well, I won't beat him very much lately, anyways. But, uh, but I can beat this guy. Watch this. <laughs> Uh, a realistic assessment. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, check out this video. Or check out Rainer playing Protoss and compare. I think Rainer's Protoss is better. What do you think? Uh, <laughs> good luck. Have fun. I hope I made your day a little bit better. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned.